Hey everybody, it's Theory Graphics, and welcome back to another episode of Mardak Chapter 3. In the last episode, we explored the entirety of the Water Temple, and uh, off-screen I just figured out the puzzle to get this stuff back. Uh, additionally, we also fought the uh, the Master Crystal, I believe? No, ma the Master Stone. So that was the thing that we got. This fancy thing from here, this, uh, where is it? This uh, Crystal Rose. So yeah, if you guys didn't see it, check it out. The, uh, the fight was actually pretty interesting. But, in this episode, we're actually going to continue on with the Water Temple and hopefully finish it. Uh, because I do have a few things I'm pretty excited for, actually, that we got upcoming next. So, off-screen, there was a few things that happened, uh, as apparently there always are. Marduk leveled up off-screen. Charlotte mastered Spirit plus 2 and Strength plus 2. Sisnek leveled up and mastered Vitality plus 1. Um, so, they've still got a few more things to learn each. Uh, Sisnek, Donovan, and Marduk are currently learning uh, Resist Aether, I believe. Yeah. Uh, they're all learning it pretty slowly. Uh, Sisnek is mastering Spirit plus 2. Uh, Donovan is learning double AP. And uh, they, we got some other stuff on our on our head equipment that we're still learning. But also, I figured that since we didn't really have anything else to do, except maybe for Spirit plus 2 on some people? Uh, or are we done? No, we need Spirit plus 2 on Sisnek. So I'm just going to throw that in his inventory so we remember it. Uh, yeah, so... Since we don't really have that much else to learn on um, Mardek and Charlo for the moment, I've decided to put some water pendants on them just so that we can have some extra resistance to water. So currently, if we take a look, um, Mardek resists water pretty well, and if we hit the action command on water, then we'll successfully gain HP from it. And Charlo doesn't even need to hit the action command, she just gains HP from the water. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully we'll find that useful. I'll probably take all that stuff off when we're done in this temple, but... Uh, yes, the moment you were all waiting for, we also grabbed this Miasmal Chalice. So we got the Water Miasmal Chalice. So we had the Dark one before, which is this one we got in the Dark Temple. And now we got the Water one. I'm actually pretty curious as to see what these actually do. I don't, um, it doesn't seem like we can give them to the uh, Curator in Aeropolis, so I'm not quite sure what we have to do with these. Well, this is a fancy room. Hello. Hi, who are you? Ah, <gasps> uh, you, yes, intruders in this temple and stuff. I mean, um, what brings you to this water temple, home of the water crystal? Are you heroes come to save the world or villains? Here to take some of the world's power for your own selfish desires? Whichever is the case, you will surely want to just see the crystal. I really do wonder why, but, um, it's not my place to ask. If you wish to pass, then you must defeat me, the water guardian, in fair combat. Allow me to summon my steed and battle shall commence. Give this your all. Alright, that looked slightly like somebody we knew, and that was a bad reaction command. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Uh, oh my god. Alright. Well, this looks like someone we know. The Water Guardian, level 30. She's got the Sage's Wand. She's slightly resist- or slightly, um... Oh my gosh, she's- <laughs> She's pretty, uh, weak to Thunder and Earth. We don't have Earth. But, uh, first of all, I'm probably gonna want to do a little bit of healing with Sharla. Um, god, I just completely lost my menu and skills after what happened. I'm so sorry that you got killed, Donovan. Maybe I should have given you some stuff. All right, so let's give uh, let's give Donovan not a Phoenix Pine down, just a Phoenix down, and we're going to try perforate with Sisnek to try to lo start lowering her defense. Oh God, not this again! Is this going to happen every single turn? Uh, it seems like it. Seems like there's going to be a tsunami every turn, and then followed by some kind of other attack. So let's oh we can use uh, Donovan. Let's try to poison her. Nope, that didn't work very well. That's all right. Uh, we're gonna heal with Mardek. All right, now hopefully Sisnek can live through, or hopefully uh, Donovan can live through this turn just so that we can actually do something here. All right, good. We hit the action command correctly. He's gonna take a bunch of damage. Charlotte healed 300. Holy cow! That's a lot of healing. What's her defense at? Uh, just oh, okay, just minus five. She doesn't really have that much defense actually. I think I'm gonna focus on healing with Mardek for now. Uh, Donovan for sure needs to be healed. But Sisnek, uh, Sisnek, I probably should. Ooh, we got poison. Very nice. Okay, let's get this. Uh, let's get this heal going on. I don't think. Oh, actually, she might be able to miss with her attacks. Mm, I don't remember if I have spell evade on. I Inver inversion water. What? Hold on. What happened here? Whoa, that was a weird. It was like a Thama element or something. Wait, what happened there? Did that? Did that change any of our stats around? No, that didn't change any of our stats around. That's very strange. Uh, we're going to try a healing win, though, because we are in a bit of a rut here. We need uh, some actual healing. Now, we can probably leave Sisnek for this turn, because I want to get some good damage off of Mardek. 
So we're going to uh, air slash with Marduk. Yeah, that's pretty good. 1572, not bad at all. Her defense has got to be almost zero now. Empty Claw? What? Okay. And Stone Explosion. And Charlotte is dead. All right. Uh, going to have to revive Charlotte because we don't want her missing out on this. Probably sweet XP. Okay. Uh, of course, she used the one thing that Charlotte can't uh, defend against. Like, all, like she's a water guardian. She should be using water attacks. Doesn't make any sense. Mega Barrier. Okay. And Silence. Ooh, interesting. I've never seen the Silence spell like that before. This is not too bad. We're pretty much done. Uh, I'm probably going to try to give the experience to um, Donovan, just, just in case I... Or just so I can. Uh, so hopefully... Uh, perforate, I don't think we'll kill her. No, that's good. Oh, but yeah, she just died because of the poison. I forgot about that. That's alright. I think that gives everybody equal XP, which is just better than giving it to one person. Ooh, and we got the Water Temple Key, which is something we needed. We got the Wave Harp and another Sapphire. And Marduk mastered double gold. Of all battles to master double gold, and he mastered it there. Ah! I mean, uh... You have done well, noble warriors. You have proven yourself... You have proven your worth and shown that you are pure of heart. I grant unto you the position to borrow the sacred water crystal for a time, and I am confident that you use its power rather than to hurt them. Use its power than rather to, to help rather than hurt the world. Wow, you really are going to take it, aren't you? I always dreaded coming. I always dreaded coming coming along and doing that, but I never thought it would have been you. I'm flabbergasted, humbled too, though. I should really expect it as soon as I saw you. Anyway, go now. The water crystal's in there. You can take it, but please bring it back shortly, because you know the world sort of depends on those to exist. I won't ask you what you want it for, but I trust you, so I don't worry too much. I'd, I'd come with you again, but I have a sacred duty to stay here, even if the crystal's taken. Sorry. Again, I didn't remember traveling with any water guardians. Did I go on a quest when I was drunk? It would have been strange if I did, because I don't, th because I don't think I drank. The, my world's falling apart. I don't know what to do anymore. I wonder how many times this sort of thing is going to happen. I mean, we are. I mean, are we even supposed to know who these people are? They're not fooling one. Well, except for Marduk, it seems. But, um, I thought it was obvious that I was, uh, mm, oh, never mind. Good luck in your travels, whoever you are. I'll see you again when I see you. Bye. No? I really want to follow you, you know? I, I don't see any reason to stay here, even if the crystal's gone. I'd be able to watch over it better if I came with you anyways, but, uh, it's the rules. The bloody rules, so please get here before I go against my duty. Alright, see ya, mystery lady. Oh, and we have the water crystal, which looks a lot like a save crystal. This is the water crystal, it would seem. Such glorious power comes from it. Oh, 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 makes me feel all prickly. Forgive me for asking this, but can we use this in any way? I mean, now that we have this artifact of such immense power, can't we use it for the sake of good? We had best not. The crystals contain magnificent power, yes, but it is not to be used trivially. Using it to solve our problems would be like exploding a house to sound a fly. I see. I was just wondering. It seems that it won't be necessary after all, then. We best keep we best just keep it safe instead. Should we really be doing this? I mean, it might upset the balance of nature, but if it's necessary, then we should do what's best for everyone. I have only ever heard of the mists that are coming from the sacred artifacts. It is quite a feeling to be looking at one as a reality. Alright, let's take this into our possession for now, and then for the next crystal. We likely don't have much time to waste. Alright, that's the first crystal. Very cool. We got the Crystal of Water, an artifact from the gods. It is essentially cr crystallized elemental energy and one of the planet's organs of a sort. This particular crystal is the source of all liquids on Belfan, so I handle it with care. We certainly wouldn't want to lose all the water in the world. Oh my god, what? This is a huge change. Hello, guy! Greetings again, my friends. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised to see you here. Why, hello! Now, how in the world did you get here? This is one of the most sacrosanct, secret, inaccessible places in the world. I'm wondering that too. Who are you? Oh, hello. You must be the Water Guardian. Pleased to meet you. I'm Clavis, a wandering scholar of sorts. Your temple intrigues me. I have my ways of getting around. It wasn't difficult to follow you in here, and I just had to see whether whether you would go through what I dreaded you might. When we met at the warport, I didn't actually think you were being serious about getting the crystals, but there you hold one. It is a keystone of the highest order, and I assure you that it is not wise to remove it from its place. But it's not like this in the first... Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. But look at what you've done in this place. It's drained, lifeless, dead. At its heart, it's gone, and with it, its soul. The water is filthy and stagnant. What did you hope to achieve in following us here? If you're hoping to stop us from doing this, then you're in for some harsh disappointment. I seek nothing more than to make you think, my friends. 
It bothers me that anyone might mindlessly come and, cr and create great disturbance in the world without realizing the consequences of their actions. I simply wish for you to realize what happens when you remove a keystone. No matter whether you think the damage done is replicable, the keystones maintain order. Chaos only follows after their loss. Yes, 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 get to the point. You've said it to us before and we can see the results for ourselves so that you lecture us about them. We know what we're doing. It is for the greater good. If you say so, that's all I came here for. If you wish... I wish for you to think about what I have told you more than once, and for you to apply this to other aspects of your life, too. Your greater goals, perhaps. Hopefully you realize the importance of keystones and the sheer devastation caused by their loss. What are you implying? What do you know? I know a lot, my friends. I am, after all, a scholar, and all the things I have experienced in my life are so numerous and varied, I just do not want to see the repeats of events that have caused me, my brethren, and my homeland so much devastation and loss. More than you realize, so please, just think about the consequences of your actions. I leave you now. We may meet again. What a strange man. I wonder how he got in. But, oh well, at least he's not doing anything bad now. Um, wow, you really did it. Wow, that's, that's going to change things around here, that's for sure. Already the temple looks so lifeless and awful. I really hope nothing terribly bad comes out of this. I suppose I'll have to retreat upstairs. I hope the containment spell kept the upper rooms pure, like it usually does when the crystal is taken. Um, not that that's any of your business or anything. Um... All right. Now we actually did get a key to the uh, to the upper floors. Wow, it really is pretty dead, eh? Um, we did get a key actually to the upper floors of the uh, of the water temple. Oh, and I guess these guys really aren't changed that much, but the backgrounds changed for sure. Um, yeah. So like I was saying, the we we got a key to the upstairs, which we've actually been wanting, or at least I've been wanting for a few episodes now. Um, so I want to go ahead and check out uh, the upstairs because I guess that's uh, that's where Emma is going to be, anyways. I guess we I guess we finally get to go see uh, what happened to Emma all over, over all this time. Oh, actually, I just realized Marduk mastered uh, double gold, so I'm gonna have to put double gold on somebody else. I should really take the the fish scales off of Donovan. Hold on, that's really bothering me. I don't know why it it probably shouldn't, but it really does. All right, there we go. So from that, we got another harp uh, for. Um, I can't remember. I can never remember what her name is. I feel so bad. But it has Soul Strike and Water minus 50. Um, cool. And then we also got another Sapphire, which is Spirit plus 2. I actually don't remember who else needs to know Spirit plus 2. Uh, I don't think it's anybody. Nope, Marduk has to know it. So I'm going to throw that on Marduk. Put that on him. And I'm actually probably going to take off these from Charla as well, because we probably don't need them anymore. Uh, I figured we'd probably run into something there. So double gold we can take off. And spirit plus two we can put on. And I'm going to put on maybe like... I don't know, like MP plus 20 maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, and then... Yes, he is still mastering it. So who has double gold? Mar uh, Marduk's got it. Donovan's got it. Does Charla have it? No, Charla doesn't have it. Uh, she could use it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's put it on Charla. Um, and she can actually put it on like that. It's going to take her a while to master all that stuff, but that's A-OK. -okay. All right. I think we're good on stuff for now. So let's head up to the, uh, to the upstairs. Hello, Gope. Oh, okay. You don't have anything else to say. That's too bad. I wish you had more things to sell and more stuff to say. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is, uh, this is quite, quite different, actually. How's our, how's our HP doing? We're just, uh, we're just a little bit down in MP. That's all right. Yeah, so we got three treasure chests up here. Wow, this really is like a, like uh like MLS said, it's very different. We got the talisman of Kryusna, an ancient artifact. It's a holy talisman formed personally by the deity Kronusia, the graceful mermaid when she made the water temple. Very valuable, certainly. Okay, so we probably are gonna bring that back to the uh, to the to the guy in the Aeropolis, which I might actually do after this episode. What the heck is this? Fi oh, it's a fireplace. That's cool. It's a very neat idea for a fireplace. What else do we got here? We got some suits of armor? Is that a suit of armor? It looks like it. Or is that just a chair? Oh, it is a suit of armor. It appears to be the uniform of a royal god of Gosnor. Silver breastplate and boots with green leggings covered in mud and water and strewn gracefully across the floor, as if removed without any desire to wear it again. It's probably... Uh, that's probably Emma's old uh, old suit there. Man, that'd be too bad. I'd really like to have her back in the party. She was... Uh, oh, hey, that's a Trillabite warrior, I think. What are you doing up here, you silly guy? Hold on. What are you doing? I want to take. I want to check out what this is first. An Ether of the Queens, 200 MP. That's pretty nice. Yeah, what are you doing here, guy? Ah, I'm a Trillabite warrior. Fight me. 
All right, cool. Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have removed that stuff, but that's all right. We're just gonna finish him off really quickly. I feel like he's probably gonna be really easy this time. Like, as we get stronger, that these guys get, like, just a lot easier. He does have a lot of defense, but uh, Sisnax Perforate is gonna certainly help with that. Or is it? I thought Sisnax Perf... Uh, I, saw, I thought Sisnax Perforate uh, actually went through defense. Oh, okay, he's actually got 20, though. Okay. Uh, and he's actually, he's resistant to regular physical attacks? Yeah, he is by 60. Okay, well that makes uh, a lot of sense, actually. Oh, he's not, excuse me, he's not really that resistant to um, to fire, which is weird. I thought he would be, considering that he's, uh, considering that he's water. Yeah, this is certainly a lot easier. That benthic pressure is not nearly as strong as it was before. Um... I'm going to wait on Donovan, heal the snack, and then we're going to attack with Charlotte again, just so we can get him in lethal range for Donovan. I don't know why I have to make this out to be such like a, a thing every single time we fight one of these guys, but or every time we fight a boss, really. I don't know, I just want, I want to make sure that everybody has a, a fairly even share of the experience. Alright, Siphon. Oh god, now he's got a bunch of health again. Okay, Charlotte, hit him with a, hit him with a hot one. Yeah, that's like perfect, perfect HP range. Nice, look at him down. All right, that hardly caught him up. All right then. And we got some fig juice for that, but we also beat another Trillabet warrior. Three of us so far, awesome. So let's head out of the uh, the water temple. I might head back to, I'm gonna head back I think to Aeropolis and uh, we're gonna see what the museum curator has to say about that uh, new fancy talisman we've got. Okay, and I'm here, finally in the, uh, the library. Hello. Is that the talisman of the graceful mermaid, Cronusia? It seems so. It's useless to an adventurer such as yourself that it has no practical magical properties, but it would attract so many visitors to the museum if I put it on display. I'll pay 15,000 gold to take that off your hands. It is no use to you and is deeply interesting to me, so we both win. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. And actually, we just have, um, wait. Oh, we can sell him the Droma arm. Very interesting. Six ancient artifacts, and we got a lucky coin. Cool. Can we give him... I think we also have the runestone. Yeah, I just... I also forgot to give him the, the extra runestone. Can we give him anything else? Nope. I would like to see what that lucky coin is, actually. Let's see. So we got loot find a level one. A coin that supposedly lands more often on heads than it does on the tail side when flipped, uh, which is rather superstitious. He said to grant the holder imp improved luck. Um, I'll probably put that on Charlotte since we don't really have anything else. Uh, also, probably the thing that's been glaring you guys in the face for a few seconds now is I actually did go and do some shopping. So when I got back here, I did some shopping and I got uh, some basic stuff, or not basic stuff, I actually spent quite a lot of money. Um, so I went around and kind of collected all the things that we didn't have before, which included this uh, Desert Spear, which I'm actually going to get a second one though, because uh, we, can put, uh, we can put it on Sharla and she can learn Gush Shield. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's just got you know 32 attack. It's not. It's better than the than the sting stick at least. Um, yeah. Uh, additionally, I also bought this mighty axe, which I think is four attack better than this other one, but also has quarry insect and boost. And oh gosh, excuse me. We got this uh, iron armor, which is damage minus 30, which I'm gonna put on Mardek later. Holy cow! I'm burpy. Uh, we also got this sheet music, which I'm just collecting at this point. Um, deals heavy damage to undead opponents. Pretty neat. And I got uh, an Azure Stole plus six, which gives Spirit plus three. I actually didn't need the Azure Stole plus two or plus four because those gave me Spirit plus one and two respectively, which we already have. Uh, and same thing with this Green Stole. I didn't buy the plus two because we already have Vitality plus one. So I actually only need two more uh, Stoles. I need the Green Stole plus six and the Scarlet Stole plus six as well. And just to add to the onslaught of uh, things I'm going to talk about, uh, so Snack mastered Resist Aether off screen, which means I put this uh, Strength plus 2 on him, so very good. Um, but I think we're probably going to end off the video for today. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I think I'm going to upload this video um, just before Christmas Eve, the Eve of Christmas Eve. So uh, if that's the case, then I hope you guys are having a great Christmas Eve, uh, spending a lot of time with your families. I know by this point in time, I'm going to be back at home spending a lot of time with my family. Uh, my exams will actually be done by that point. I'm finishing my exams on December 22nd. So, yeah, it'll all be happy times for me and for you guys. So, um, until then, I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys are having a great day and a great Christmas. Peace off.